And it improves as a healer prays over that person. I want to point out that what we see in the text today is no functional healing. It's not just a mere functional healing. This is an organic healing. Aeneas has been bedridden for eight years. He is paralyzed. And immediately, distinctly, he's raised up and walks. Undeniable. Not something that can be debated. Sam Storms talks about miracles a lot and teaches. He's a a pastor. I believe he's in Oklahoma City. He points out that when the New Testament speaks about these gifts of healings, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, the gifts of healings are actually in the plural. It's not a person necessarily who has a gift of healing, but there are gifts, plural, of healings, plural. Actually, the ESV gets this wrong at this particular point. According to Storms, it's not just gifts of healing, it's gifts of healings. So the point being, there may be people that God uses more often than others to lay hands on the sick, to pray for the sick, and miraculous things happen in the name of Jesus and according to the will and discretion of Jesus. Each one of those events, every time somebody is healed, that's a gift of healing. But it doesn't mean that there are people on this earth today who walk around with the ability to heal at will. It's not the case. If that were true, if there were people with a gift of healing where they can indiscriminately heal according to their desire, and if they just conjure up enough faith, then these faith healers would spend a lot more time in hospitals and a lot less time on stage. Gifts of healings, but it's distributed, according to 1 Corinthians 12, according to his will. Now, another thing to point out, In verse 32, I think it is significant 